I'm Jo and I'm your online workstation assessor. We're going to look today at what happens if you've got different people of different heights in the office with you. So I'm five foot five and James is six foot two. And what, what you need to look at is, is there any adjustability in the chairs that you've got to make sure that we can adjust the chair to suit somebody that's taller, but then also to double check the height of the desk that they're sitting at. Okay, so have a look at the standard chair that you've got. If somebody is really tall, what you want to see is if there's something called a seat slider, which effectively adjusts the depth of the seat. So James, if you can just move the seat out a little bit further, and what that will do is provide more support under somebody's leg. Ideally, you're looking for about two to three fingers behind the back of the knee and the seat, whereas if someone's really tall, you, you might not get that, but see if you can move the seat out as much as possible. Then you can have a look at things like height adjustable armrests, take the armrests up so that they're supporting underneath the elbow. And then finally, if you look at the backrest as well, to so see if there's adjustability on the backrest and be able to just move the backrest up. Once the chair is adjusted to suit the taller person, is to get them to sit at the right height for the work surface. So what you want to do is ask somebody to move up to the work surface, they want to relax their shoulders, form a right angle with their elbow, and then have their elbow and their forearm in line with the desk. So James, you look a little bit low there, so do you mind just taking the chair up slightly? Right, okay. Perfect. And then sit in a little bit closer for me. Excellent. Once you've got somebody sitting at the right height, so you've got their shoulders relaxed and their elbows and forearms are in line with the desk, with a tall person you want to double check what's going on underneath the desk as well and just to check that you've got the correct alignment between the knees and the hips. So James, can I just ask you to push back from the desk? What you can see here is James's knees are slightly below his hips, which is absolutely perfect, and that's what you want to try and achieve. So for James, he can sit at a standard height desk, no problems at all. Standard height desk is about 72 centimetres, but if you've got somebody that's about six foot three, six foot four, taller than that, you might well need to actually just raise the height of the desk. So a good indication of that is that some of these knees are above their hips, so, so like this. So if when you get a person to push back from the desk and you see that their knees are above their hips, that's causing the pelvis to round and putting more strain through somebody's lower back. So then you need to look at raising the height of the desk and then you can increase the chair height even further till you can get that perfect angle of the knees below the hips. So if you've established that somebody's desk does need to be raised, what you can look at is some little desk raisers to go underneath the legs of the desk or you can use an electric height adjustable table, or there are even some desks which have actually got set up height adjustment, so you can actually put it to the perfect height for the person. If you're struggling to work out how high a table should go up, the best thing to do is set somebody up away from the desk, so get them sitting at the right height so that you've got that angle, so that their hips are above their knees. Then ask them to form a right angle with their elbow, and then just measure, can you just hold your arms out for James? Then just measure from the hand down to the floor and that will tell you the desk height that you need to set the table up for.